Good morning students. In this session, we are going to learn how to install Android Studio with emulator. First, let us check with the system requirements to install Android Studio. So, click on your browser. In the Google, just you can give system requirements. System requirements for Android Studio. Just click OK. And you need to select developer.android.com. This is a standard website we have uh, for the Android. And scroll down till the last. You have system requirements here. And if your operating system is Windows, you can check with this 64-bit operating system. And it is a Windows operating system. And we need to have installed RAM as 8 GB or more. That is a preferable one. And I'm just going to scroll up to install or to download Android Studio. And in the Android Studio downloads, we have for the Windows 64-bit. This is a recommended one. You just give or you just click on that. And I have read and agree with the above terms and condition. Download Android Studio for Windows. Click on that. It is of uh, 933 MB. It is downloading. Meanwhile, I will take you to check for uh, um, what is my system configuration we are having. So, I will show that. Click on my computer or this PC as I am clicking on this folder button. And you have this PC here. Right click on mouse. You are going to get with the properties. And this is what my system configuration I have. Installed RAM is 8 GB and it is of 64 bit Windows operating system. And this works fine for our Android Studio and for my emulator. So that's why it is good. Close that. Yes, meanwhile, I will check whether the Android Studio has been downloaded properly. Yes, it has been downloaded. Click on Run as Administrator. It takes only few seconds to install Android Studio, but to get initialized the Android Studio, it will take around 5 to 10 minutes. Yes, click on yes. It is installing. Click next. Next. It is already selected Android virtual device. So just click next. And here, this is the location where you want to install your Android Studio. So, and I prefer not to install in a C drive. Why? Because I have less space since I have many installed apps. So that's why I'm selecting for the next uh, another drive where I have much space to install. Uh, which one I prefer to install. I'm giving D drive forward slash and I'm creating my own Android workspace. So Android underscore workspace space it will not take. Give next. And it is also asking for us to create a new folder. Just click on install. It is installing. It will take few minutes. Yes, it is complete now. Just click on the next. Start Android Studio. Give finish. Android Studio is getting initialized now. You are going to get with this window. Yes, you are going to get this window where you are going to click on create new project yes here click on empty activity click next this is what the application name it is already given it as a my application and i'm not going to change this and this is what a location where our android uh, studio has already been installed and you cannot choose this location only to do our projects 
so i'm just changing it as workspace instead of android workspace where my android studio has been installed and this works well previously it was showing error if you observe i'm just going back a little bit so i will show that see the project location is inside studios install location so this is a um, error like you are you should not do this so that's why i am making it as a workspace so but i am creating this workspace folder to do my projects or to save my projects and when we come to the language you have two programming languages to for the android development one is java and the another one is uh, kotlin so just you click here you can see and java is a preferable language and i'm familiar with that even many of us know that so that's why i am selecting this java and this is the minimum sdk version minimum sdk sdk it is nothing but software development kit and we have many options but it depends on in which api level and when in which android version our projects works well and i'm selecting api 19 api it is nothing but application programming interface and this is the level 19 and where most of our application is compatible with this version i am selecting this click finish and it is preparing a workspace to uh, develop our android project and you should not click any of the icon until and unless it is finishing with the project tree on the left side left corner side and it is we are get, getting with this right mark green right mark on the right side by default you are going to get this window by default you are going to get with this xml file as well as java file yes the project tree for us it is ready and here it is showing in indexing synchronizing then analyzing so until and unless this completes we should not click on any of the icons here and here if you observe it is showing daemon started successfully and now the important part for the android development is we need emulator so here if you just click on no devices the downward arrow mark we are getting right so click on that avd manager icon is there no avd it is nothing but android virtual device manager just click on this this is the avd manager dialog click create virtual device at the bottom of this avd manager dialog here this is a select hardware page appears now you can notice here that only some hardware profiles are indicated to include play store here if you just look into this here this is a play store symbol this indicates that these profiles are fully cts compliant and may use system images that include the play store app as well cts it is nothing but compatibility test suite and this represents mechanism of compatibility the, it is an automated testing suite as well and i'm selecting any any you can select and i'm preferring or i'm going with pixel 3a from a hardware profile click next yes the system image page appears now select the system image for a particular api level and i am preferring for api level that is 26 where most of our applications are compatible with so select this it has already been highlighted click next and this is what the avd name i am going to get pixel 3a i have selected from the uh, hardware profile page then api 26 from the system image and i prefer to go for the portrait um, emulator uh, orientation so click finish now and your virtual device is ready close this yes this window has already been appeared before only so now i will check whether my emulator is working fine 
so click run because we have our, we already have our default application which is provided by android studio that is hello world if you click on this activity main.xml here we got with the hello world i will explain in the next session how to create a project so just it is a default one it, it is already there i'm checking that whether this works fine in my emulator so click on this run app it takes few minutes since I am running a first project. All the Gradle, all the Jaffles, everything needs to get initialized. So for that purpose, uh, here it is showing that Gradle build running and within a few minutes, it has been on, on your emulator. Here it is showing that Gradle invocation finished uh, with zero errors. So it takes some time now. Yes, for me it has taken around 10 minutes of time to get this screen. And now it is launching activity. See, if you look at this, it is giving us with the proper output that is hello world is displaying and with the project or the um, first project name I have given it as my application and it is working fine. Uh, hope everyone installed Android Studio with emulator successfully. If you face any issues in the middle of the installation, please put your queries in the comment section. I will check and address the issue. In my next video, I will show how to connect actual physical mobile device to your Android Studio instead of emulator. Because if you have 4 GB of RAM, um, you cannot install emulator. But you can execute your project, execute your Android project by, connect your, by connecting your mobile to your computer. And you can look at the output in your mobile screen only. So that's why in the next video I will show that. And you need to do certain settings in your mobile as well. It is a simpler one and I will show in the next session. Hope everyone like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel to get more updates on the upcoming videos. Click on the bell icon and share the links to others to get benefit out of it. Uh, thank you all.